golden maybe we are up and running today is day 92 of the year of streaming and learning to code we've got audio we've got little kitty oh yes we do who's got a cat i've got a cat no we the stream as a whole as a cat oh isn't that right little one Good, good. Uh, we've got audio, we've got feline, we've got webcam, and we have Code Academy. Cool, cool, cool. We are continuing day 92, starting at 20% of the way through jQuery. And, little cat, check yourself, princess. Check yourself. <clears throat> we are 20% uh, of the way through jQuery. We made it through their oh-so-confusing introduction last night. Actually, really, the only, uh, the only major speed bump last night was section 12 of the introduction. But I think we should fare a bit better today. Little Cat, I'm, I'm trying to look at all, all this fun stuff. But, uh... Here... You're sort of super, uh, super in the way. Hey, Topher, how you doing? I am just attempting to start the stream. Little Kitty is finding her play. Oh, you going down? There, go. Ah, ah, death. Claws in the stomach. <sighs> Happy thoughts. We're good. We're good. We're just, you know, we're we're laying the groundwork for today's stream. And uh, is that? remotely normal where yeah I'm just at a good <clears throat> all right cool cool hopefully hopefully your sunday is off to a uh, a decent decent start although it's 33 o'clock so the start was a while ago the start was a while ago but hopefully it's a good sunday uh we are now good god little cat we're just trying to get started. That's all we want to do. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, doing well. Finally starting to understand React routing with a Redux. Redux. Just clicked in my brain today while I was making lunch. Very cool. Then I sat down and wrote it out. Flawless. Good times. Glad to hear it. All right. Well, speaking of making press and hopefully good times we made it through their mostly clear introduction except for the convoluted section 12 bad section 12 so now we're diving into jquery functions functions and selectors let's uh let's do this all right and today section i believe has is it 13 maybe it's 12 13 sections dd dd okay good 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 from the top functions part one dollar document dot ready functions are the basic unit of action in jquery the main entry point of most jquery applications is a block that looks like this dollar sign document dot ready function empty parentheses we forgot about that dude yesterday um followed by curly bracket of sorts our trusty clo uh, code block and the closing elements if you will all right let's go through a bit by bit dollar document is a jquery object the dollar parentheses is actually a function in disguise it turns the document into a jquery object dot ready parentheses is a type of function you can think of it sort of uh think of it as sort of a helper that runs the code inside its parentheses as soon as the html document is ready the function parentheses curly braces is the action that dot ready will perform as soon as the html document is loaded in the example above the do something placeholder is where those actions would go. Let's crack it and bump those instructions up a little. Practice makes perfect. 
set up your jQuery code in the script.js tab with $document.ready and pass a function that will immediately ha 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 cat why why that was my thigh and calf <sniffs> totally cool it's only small the humans can bleed surprising amounts of blood before they actually need hospital assistance right nobody panic it is just a small house cat <sighs> that sheds like a mother uh good Okay, onwards. Pass it a function that will immediately hide the orange div. Whoa, 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 hold on. But we got stabbed. Let's just start from this sentence. Set up your jQuery code in the script.js tab with $.ready and pass it a function that will immediately hide the orange div on the result tab. And use the jQuery.hide effect to do this. You should call .hide. What's that, kitty? Uh, different kitty. Little kitty's in my lap. Big kitty is on the floor. What? I get the feeling you need water, but I'm I'm just gonna kind of pretend you're not here for the next forty-five minutes. <clears throat> Good. We're making it hide. We're hiding it. You should call dot hide on your jQuery object like so. Dollar selector. Of sorts in in quotes dot hide cool where selector is blah nice nice we are hiding said div it's already linked we've got CSS which we really don't need to worry about but it, there's div so let's do this let's do this happy thoughts go time dollar dollar uh hmm which number has the dollar symbol it's the four four has the dollar symbol. Do 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 dot ready. Do 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 boo do do boo do 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 do. Now, hmm, semicolon goes there. That's what it is. That's what it is. Because I always think there's curly stuff, but what I'm actually thinking of is the curly stuff that I see here. Really, there's the semicolon. It's the function with the parentheses. And then this guy gets something inside of it. It's the curly braces here that I'm thinking. That's what's going on. Yeah, yeah. But I always get confused. And think the curly braces go here, but they don't, because that's not a thing. Not a thing, Stephen. Hey, uh, duh. Degov? Yeah, Degov, I remembered. How you doing, man? We just started section one of 13, jQuery functions and selectors. It's, uh, just above boring. So that's nice. That's nice. We are doing dot document, document, laying the groundwork, document something or other, and then we're going to be hiding set it div. Let's do function, emptiness, the curly braces we were talking about, our other dollar, nope, that's the sign, bad Steven, bad Steven. Div gets a dot hide, and the orange thing goes away forever. No one has to look at it ever again. Boom, gone. I'm a magician. It was you. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to leave you, and then ta da. Gone. Magic, right? Pretty cool. Guess what? It's back again. Now, gone. All right. Behold my powers. Uh, good. So let's go to the next sec section. One down. Section two, here we come. Two of 13. Making progress. Super slowly. Just the way we like it. Functions. Part deuce. Functions explained. 
function is made up of three parts, the function keyword, any inputs the function takes, they go between the parentheses, and are separated by commas if there are more than one, and whatever action the function should perform, these go between curly braces. The general form is blah, function, input one, two, etc. cat, a kitty, a buddy. Do you want to go be 800 years old somewhere else? Maybe on the bed? A soft place for your final breaths? No? Okay, clearly you need something like water or food. True, you've had the aura of death around you for the last two years, but, you know, it's just really emanating from you right now, which is, you know, kind of fun. Good, good, hanging out on the bed. Maybe he just needs love? Who knows? Love the kitty. Uh, Degav. Do you want to do web dev? Uh, I mean, I'm not against any particular type of... Programming, coding, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't really have a goal right now. I'm just trying to get, I'm trying to get a good understanding of all the introductory, foundational kind of fundamental stuff of some of the main languages out there. And then, if any one particular one really jumps out at me, then I'll probably try and do more side project of my own and maybe create something, whether it be a game or practice website or some type of app, but uh, yeah, that's that. Kitty, I don't think you're going to move. I don't think you're here to nap. I think you want something, and I already have a cat in my lap, so I can't type. I'm being over, there's a two to one cat ratio right now, uh, all within arm's reach. You're, um, hmm, hold on, hold on. Cat mystery. This is like one of those shrines in Breath of the Wild. I need to get the mouse, which is a trackpad, but it's behind the cat. Nope, don't know what I'm touching. There we go. There we go. Halfway through. Cat shrine. We're just going to pretend all of the catness isn't happening. Uh, happening. Cool. So we've got our general stuff. Function 1 two, etc. Do a thing, more stuff, more code. Beautiful. Uh, one of the nice things about jQuery is that you can give a function just about anything as an input, even another function. That's why dot ready can take a function between its parentheses. It's taking a function as input. If you're interested, you can learn more about functions in the JavaScript track. Do, 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 instructions. Check out the code in script.js. It includes a new jQuery action. Dot click uh, parentheses. That will learn more about. So yeah, dot, dot click. Good, good. Dot click is our friend. See how we pass function to both dot ready and dot click as inputs. When you're ready, click save and submit, then click on the orange div in the results tab to see it fade out. So we don't actually have to do anything in this section. All we do is, uh, this is the magic that's making it happen. We've got document.ready function, curly brace. We've got div dot click, yet another input, and yet another function input inside of its parentheses. And that is div dot fade out slow. And we come here, we click on the orange, it disappears like magic. Save and submit. Now, way cool. Gob, are you a web developer yet? What languages do you typically work with or enjoy? Fun stuff. Fascinating. Fascinating. All right, section three, variables. <laughs> Does being overrun with cats count as variables? Who knows? Uh, variables are a place for us to store information for use at a later time. Variables can hold any, what do you, what, do you need help? God, you're so slow, cat. Kitty, I want to love you, but can you go be old somewhere else, please? Okay, <laughs> he's like 12 or 14. Apparently the doctor said that every six months is now equivalent to two years for him, so... 
and he's been that way for the last like year and a half. Yeah. Really like to use Ruby. It's a lot of fun to use. That's cool. Ruby's yeah, I'm I'm excited for Ruby. I don't really I mean I think I'm more excited to learn Ruby over React and Angular and stuff like that because I just I've heard the term or the phrase Ruby uh more than I have React and Angular. So maybe that's just more of a marketing thing. Like I heard of I've heard of Python and I've heard of JavaScript, Python and Ruby way more than any, you know, than most other code languages. I've only heard of HTML and CSS more than JavaScript and uh, those few others, so maybe that's why I'm interested to learn it. Word of mouth, perhaps? All right, one cat down. We survived. <clears throat> okay. Variables, something about a placeholder. Uh, variables can hold any type of information you work with, so just think of them as containers. The single equal sign is used to assign values. For instance, in jQuery, you can write variable lucky equals seven, name equals code academy, dollar p equals dollar. Oh, that's interesting. This is new. Dollar p. That must be like a selector of some type for jQuery. Who knows? Oh, they're going to go into it now. Neat. Who knew? Never used Ruby personally. I guess I never really had a need for it. Ah. Fascinating. Okay. Also fascinating. Variable stuff. Our first variable contains number seven, while the second variable contains some text, code academy, in quotes, a friendly string. Our third variable stores the result of jQuery selector, dollar $p, in quotes. In the variable $p, as you can see, this is just a handy way to save this information later. Why would we do this? Well, up until now, we haven't had to modify anything more than once. If we wanted to change the web page based on new information, we would need to store that information in variables. Maybe you want to create a loading page and have it vanish as you receive that information. It'd be a good idea to use variables. Instructions. Check out the preview window. All looks well and good except for number four. Number four. jQuery is for chumps. <laughs> okay, good, good. We're all on the same page. Uh, number four, that's nonsense. Create a variable called dollar $target in script.js and use the equal sign to assign it to the jQuery selector that represents four in the ordered list. When you run your code, it should fade away. You're going to need your CSS knowledge for this one, and there is more than one way to achieve this. Check the hint as a, uh, if you need a reminder. Okay, let's do this. Hint, remember you can modify things directly using an ID or a class. You may also modify things indirectly by using the nth child or last child. Yeah, I kind of recall that. One, one, a C, Angular is not its own language, it's a framework for JavaScript. Frame, oh, you know what, still read it as framework, totally cool. Ruby was designed with the programmer in mind, not the computer. I agree with number four. Good, good. All right, so all of us, we're all, we're all here. Nice, nice. So, Java's, we're just, we're destroying number four, is that what they wanted? Check out blah, all looks good, except that. Create a variable called target, you got it. Target, here we come. We're creating a variable. Wait a sec, oh, write your code on line three. Okay, dollar, target. God, I hope I'm doing this okay. Wait, maybe not. I don't feel... Use the dollar sign to assign it to the jQuery selector that represents number four. Okay, so hold on. Variable... 
dollar target. Let's all remember, although it's day 92 here at Code Academy, this is day two of jQuery. Highly questionable. Super con super concerned. Okay. Do 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 do. Uh, Degov. If you're trying to lay a foundation of programming skills, I'm not sure jQuery is so great to learn. Yeah, I'm not sure uh, if any of the additional JavaScript stuff. I don't know how that's gonna fare, but the a lot of the additional JavaScript courses like Angular and React are all fairly short courses. Like Python here at Code Academy was 13 hours. Uh, and I, I think I took even longer. I'm not trying to power through this. I'm trying to absorb all the fundamental stuff they have thrown my way. But jQuery, it's only three hours. Like, that's... I mean, three hours, that, that could be a, a long lunch. Or uh, one or two terrible movies. So I'm cool with sparing three hours to learn the basics of jQuery. I'm not looking to commit... Fully. Well, I mean, when I'm learning it during the three hours, yeah, commit hard, but I don't think I'm going to dive down the jQuery path um, in the coming, th in, in the near future, if you will. But yeah, good times. We've got target. We've got this. We're going to make you very similar to this guy equals dollar. And my guess is we're doing it in whatever was trapped in number four nth child i believe it's zero indexed although we could just do last to make it last is messy but we're gonna stick with last ah this is gonna go bad do we just copy you I don't like the colon. We'll keep the colon. None of this. This is all starting to feel wrong. So. No. UL. LI. Son of a bitch. OL. Okay. We've got div. Remember. Ordered list. We got an ordered list followed by an ordered list. And I'm totally forgetting. I guess we can just do div last. If we do div last, I don't think I need to specify each of the tiers for the HTML. All the parent child relationships. So that would be div last child that's not right holy god it's all gone i think i missed a step <laughs> or i'm gonna have to be a lot more specific or now 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 you soulless uh that's okay we're gonna piece this together i think i'm on the right path that's the main thing that's the main thing Clearly, we're affecting it, and it's disappearing. Kind of got a hair kill a gnat, though. We've just destroyed everything. I've destroyed everything. Let's quickly check. Forums. Da, 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 da. Don't mind the searing white screen. Art. I don't even know what part I'm on. Part three. Yeah, I don't know that it's not that it doesn't work. I think it's OL list nth child. Interesting. I think if they're going to be stating it needs to be dollar OL to select an element with jQuery. Dollar OL in your case. The dollar is missing. Also, classes use a dot, and IDs use the hashtag or the pound. Yes, I do recall that. 
Nth Child 4. We are missing the dollar. So that's very, okay, so this is basically what we need. I think we have, we have the dollar. We remember the dollar. Ta-da, she's gone. Four no longer exists. Beautiful. Beautiful. Remember. Back to editor. Very nice. Dollar P versus dollar quote P end quote. You probably noticed that we used both dollar and dollar parentheses in the last exercise. Variable dollar P equals dollar quote P end quote. There's a subtle difference between the two. Dollar P is just a variable name. There's no magic associated with the dollar and the dollar P. It's just a convention for saying hey, this variable contains a uh, jQuery object. We could call $p anything we want. Dollar paragraph, paragraph, space cows, whatever. It's just helpful for people reading our code to see the $p, since this is a concise way of saying, hey, there's a, quote, p jQuery object here. Okay. Dollar parentheses, on the other hand, is magic. This is, the, uh, this is the function in disguise that creates jQuery objects. If you're making a jQuery object, you got to use it. Instructions. Remember when we told you to ignore the paragraph equals in the, uh, in the last lesson? Well, now you know what it does. We told you to ignore the paragraph equals in the last lesson. Well, now you know, I, I guess. You also know that it, it should have been $P. Create a variable. Dollar div. Uh, let's open the hint just to raise it a little. Okay, create a variable dollar div and assign it to a div jQuery object using equals. No need to use dollar document dot ready parentheses or any additional code. Whoa, 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 whoa! Create a variable dollar div and assign it to div using the equals no need to oh okay we get uh really we don't have to do the whole document song and dance they just want div on div action seems kind of empty remember you can set a variable like this and all jquery objects are just selector names like p div inside of blank don't forget jquery commands and with semicolons Okay, we will just, we'll give them the variable they want. Variable blankety blank coming at you. Variable dollar. It was dollar div equals div. Now, we still do dollar div, right? I wonder if I did the semicolon on the last section. I think I did. Ta-da! Good. Okay, we still got all the right. They did want all the formatting. Their instructions seem very... Still getting used to the jQuery concepts. But we've made 5 of 13... We're still alive. We haven't burned down the village yet. Still afloat. Using functions to select HTML elements. Now that you know more about how functions work, you understand when we have something like $document.ready function, parentheses, play brace, $div.hide. We're passing .ready, a function, which itself takes no inputs. That's why its parentheses uh, is empty. And that function's job is to dot hide the div jQuery object. Give a dot ready a function as an input inside your function's curly braces call fade in slow on the currently invisible div to bring it into view. That's right, there's a fade in as well. Remember the structure, blah diddly blah. We're not clicking anything, so we just need. Yeah, the stuff. Just fade in. No, no click. 
just fade. So we've got ready. We need function. Empty parentheses. Curly brace. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are doing stuff. Does it fade? It was for the div, right? Yeah, it's for div. Dollar. Dot ready. No, not dot ready. Haha, -ha, that was a lie. That was a lie. Nobody listened to me. Fade in slow. Fade in slow. Okay, div. Ta da! Orange came back to life. We have resurrected our friend Orange. What if we get rid of you? Boom, gone, and watch this. Rise, orange, rise from the ashes. Good, good, we did it. There's this orange, alive and well. And orange had triplets, and now there are four of them. Selecting by class, okay. Selecting by class. We don't have to limit ourselves to selecting HTML elements like P and div. Essentially, we can put any CSS selector in quotes and pass it to uh, pass it into dollar parentheses. This means we can select classes too. Recall that we can select classes in CSS by using a dot if we have class red in our HTML. We can target it in CSS with dot red. In jQuery, all we need to do is put it in quotes. Quote, dot red end quote and we can pass it uh, to the dollar parentheses to make it a jQuery object very handy let's get some practice with the dot click action finish the jQuery uh, code so that it will make it all four di whoa 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 finish the jQuery code so that it will make all four divs of class dot vanish fade out slow uh, fade out slowly, uh, clever, slowly, when the button is clicked. And they did it again when the button is clicked. Okay, this is fun. All right. Don't mind me. It's, they, they're just having some fun wordplay with their instructions. Good. Happy times. This is a, is a, wow, speaking is difficult. This is as exhilarating, there we go, as this stream going to get for today is uh finet fun clicked in slowly all right simple mind simple pleasures hint on line two you'll want to put the button element inside of the blah to make it a jquery object on line three you'll want dot vanish tell it to fade out with the input slow remember my making objects all vanishes are affected learn how cool cool all right trial by fire let's dive into this Title, vanishing, click button, body, break, button. Okay, okay. Style sheet, dot vanish. That's what we're working with. We've got dollar document dot ready function. And here we go, we've got our click. So we're going to throw in dot vanish. Think. And then button dot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Maybe it, maybe it is. Hold on, I'm gonna read it once more. Let's get some practice with the dot click action. Finish the jQuery code so it will make all four divs of class dot vanish. All four divs of class dot vanish which is here. Okay, so all four oranges 
So the all four divs of class.vanish fade out slowly when button is clicked. Okay. So we're going to have vanish. No, we're going to have when button is clicked, vanish will fade out. That's what we're going to do. When button is clicked, dot... I don't think it's dot button. It's just button. Just button life. Oh god. Oh god. One. One too many. Bad Steven. Bad. We're losing control. Trigger happy. There we go. Button. And the button is clicked. Dollar sign. In quotes. Dot vanish. Will dot fade out. Ah, there we go. Slowly. But it's just slow. And semicolon. No. Maybe. Mm. Holy shit, it worked. Guys, did you see that? Did you see that? Look at this. Look at this. Undo, put it back, yeah, uh, look at, look at, and click me. Gone! Gone. Okay, I feel like a wizard. This is awesome. Click me, vanish. Nice. Taking the show on the road. We're gonna travel the countryside with our family singing in the hills. That's a, that's a sound of music reference. Just, I don't have to worry about avoiding Nazis. Because it's 2017. Good, good. Also, I'm not in Germany. Uh, hmm. Next, next. I also don't think I'll be able to get in touch with Julie Andrews for this. All right. We'll cut singing from our, our programming act. Uh, selecting by ID. If we can select by class, it follows that we can also... Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, getting ahead of myself. Getting ahead of myself. If we can select by class, it follows that we can select by ID. Well, yeah, I thought we just did both in the last one. I guess we didn't, but that's okay. We do this by putting the ID name in quotes inside the dollar parentheses. Just as we did with the dot for classes, we need the hashtag... Uh, or pound for IDs. We could get target ID equals header, like so. Dollar sign, parentheses, quote, pound, header. The semicolon at the end is important. It's how jQuery knows we're done giving it a command. For now, a good rule of thumb is that you should put semicolons at the end of any line that doesn't end with an open curly brace. The Editor will try to help you out with your semicolon placement, so pay attention to its warnings. Examples of correct and incorrect semicolons, uh, semicolon uses, semicolon use, are in the hint. Instructions update your jQuery code so that it only fades out, fade outs? Their wordplay is confusing me now. Update your jQuery code so it only Fade out the div with the ID of blue. Example of correct semicolon use. Yes, fascinating. Great. Example of incorrect semicolon use. Uh, this dude missing a semicolon. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're doing something with blue. ID blue. Hashtag blue. Mm. Div dot fade out. Update your jQuery code so it only fades out the div with the ID blue. So let's do ID blue. Hashtag blue. You're my boy, blue. You're my... Old school? No? That's all right. Uh, blue.
like me. Ha! Ah, just the blue one disappeared. Take that blue. Next. Next. I, we're actually... I'm making progress. 8 of 13. <laughs> Although, section 12 yesterday basically doubled the length of the stream due to absolute confusion. Yeah, that was that was painful. Okay. Flexible, uh, yeah, flexible selections. Anything you can target with C uh, CSS, you can modify with a jQuery. For example, we can apply a fade to to a P selector like this. Dollar P dot fade to slow comma zero. We can apply fade to to a list selector like this. Dollar list fade to slow zero. Okay, we can apply fade to to the P and the list selector like so with a trusty comma shoved in between there. This is called a compound selector. Let's use a compound selector to apply fade to to both dot pink and dot red selectors. Use a compound selector to apply fade to dot stuff. Everyone is just dropping. Oh, we get to create our own? No. We do. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, cool. Fun. Practice. Uh, dollar sign on the four key. Pro tip. Dollar sign is on the four. Um, nope, nope. Document. Document. Dot ready. Parentheses. Semicolon. Function. Parentheses. Curly braces. Dropping down. Uh, dollar sign. I guess this is it, because all we have to do is fade out. So, dollar. We will have mm, quote, comma, space, quote, dot, fade out, was it? Pretty sure, yeah. Fade. Oh, fade two. It was fade two. My bad. Pink and red. So pink and red. Dot pink. Dot red. Submit. No. Maybe. Back to editor. Oh, slow zero. Good, good. On the pink divs. I guess it's checking for both, but I totally missed that. Where, where was the slow? Did they say? Let's use a compound selector to apply a fade two to both. Oh, I guess we were just supposed to. Interpret that it was going to be slow to zero. Sure. Why not? Code Academy's infamous guess and check method. Fantastic. Zero. Always appreciated. Uh, so, let's try that. Even submit. Still feels lackluster. Did you call fade too slow on the pink divs? Did I totally miss something? Oh, remind me later. I am going to read this bit. Flexible selections. Anything you can target with CSS, you can modify with jQuery. For example, you can apply a fade to a P selector like this. Dollar P, fade to slow, blah. We can apply a fade to to a list selector like this. Dollar list, fade to slow. Blankety blank. We can apply a fade to to both the P and list, select, uh, list selector. Oh, it's a single quote. Single quote. Aha. That was our issue. That was our issue. We've got in a single set of quotes, 
two things, dot p, comma, dot red. Price is averted. Price is averted. Save and submit. Gone. Vanished. Beautiful. 8 of 13. We are slowly making progress. 9 is the last section for using selectors. We are getting there, little kitty. We are getting there. All right. This is important. In the last lesson, we had some code that looked like this. Dollar document dot ready function dollar div dot mouse enter dollar div dot hide. The second line is good. This tells us that when we when we mouse into a div, we should take a certain action. However, dollar div dot hide won't just hide the div you mouse into. It will hide all the divs on the page. How can we tell jQuery we only want to affect this particular div? With this, of course, the this keyword refers to the jQuery object you're currently doing something with. Its complete rules are a little tricky, but the important thing to understand is that if you used an event handler on an element, that's the fancy name for actions like dot .click, dot .mouse enter, since they handle jQuery events, you can call the actual event that occurs, such as fade out, dollar this. And the event will only affect the item you're currently doing something with. For example, clicking on or, uh, or mousing over. Lever, so it localizes it. Very cool. Okay, instructions. We will open the hint. It was up a little. Check out the code in script.js. Instead of using fade out on all divs, we're just using it on this div, where this refers to the div you're clicking on. Click save and submit code, and then click your divs one by one to see this, uh, to see it work. Hint. Now you know how we worked our disappearing div magic in the very first exercise. You've been initiated into the mystery of jQuery. Nice. All right, so I don't think we actually need to do anything. We've got divs. We've got our CSS for those divs, and we've got our jQuery. Cool. So document ready. Dot click function. This dot and this doesn't have quotes. This dot fade out slow, and this is in regards to the div with the click function. Cool. Cool. We're all on the same page. Clicking, 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 and clickety. Beautiful. Save and submit. Functional jQuery. The last section and the uh, last four, four activities. 10 of 13. Ready? All right. Time to use our new jQuery knowledge to add another interactive com uh, component to our website. A sliding panel. That moves up and down when clicked. We've set it. Uh, we've set up the necessary HTML and CSS for you. Your assignment: animate it with your query instructions. You know the drill. Turn document into a jQuery object. Call the dot ready action. No need to put anything in ready's parentheses just yet. So we're laying the groundwork for the document. Remember, don't put document in quotes. Yes. Good. Good. Style sheet. Well, lots of stuff going on there. So we are slide up and down. They've got it built for us, but we're going to slowly lay the groundwork for it to function properly. So here we go. From the top, dollar document dot ready. Nothing special there. With a semicolon, was that really it? I think that was it. Things make beautiful green check mark. Eleven of thirteen. We're getting there. Click and pull. Good. Now we want to trigger an event. When the slide up down tab is clicked, that tab's class is dot pull me. Instructions inside the ready's parentheses. Add your function. Empty parentheses. Curly brace. Your function won't take any inputs between the parentheses. But between its curly braces, it should call the click event handler on the dot pull me jQuery object. Okay, 
Here we go. Document ready. Function. Oh, that is not an English word. Fun no function. Wow, we are just... Are we having an aneurysm? No. We haven't lost all ability to control ourselves. Dollar. Um... Hmm. Really blanked. Ah, instructions. They're right here on the screen. Cool. Uh, dollar dot pull me. Um. Uh, dot pull. Dot click. They want anything more? You know, we're probably going to be adding it. We're probably going to be adding it. They meant that worked. Very cool. Start next lesson. 12. See how painful the section 12 is. Toggling our panel. Perfect. It's just one more step. We need to tell you. Uh, we need to tell dot click what to do. In this case, when our pull tab is clicked, we want our sliding panel with the class dot panel to open or close. The jQuery event will need to toggle our sliding panel. As you guessed it, dot slide toggle. We'll pass little cat, what's that? Nothing? Okay. We'll pass it one input, which is the speed of our slide animation. Inside clicks click uh, inside dot clicks parentheses create a dot panel jQuery object called dot slide toggle effect given an input of slow for the animation speed. Okay, so all of that stacks within itself. That's just noise. Um, but here we go. So dot click, we've got function. Empty parentheses. Curly braces. Drop it along. Back up one. Jump over. Dollar. Parentheses. Here we go, here we go. Uh, dot panel. Yeah, yeah. Dot, no. Slide bed. Don't lose it. Slide. Toggle. Very good, very good. And semicolon. Is that really it? Isn't there more? Slow. Haha, we almost forgot. Slow. So. Click, now you see me. And now you don't. Little kitty, did you see that? Nah, you're sleeping under the desk. That's okay. Totally cool. Don't worry. Trust me. It felt awesome. If you could click this, you would. Maybe. Slide up and down. Now you see me, now you don't. Right? Right? Come on. It's a little cool. Uh, next. Please click on the dot pull me. That is so fascinating. Cool. That was way better than yesterday's section 12. Hell. Well done. Great work. See how easy this is? With a little jQuery magic, you can make your websites do all kinds of amazing things. Websites like Twitter, Facebook, and Gmail all make use of jQuery to help make their websites interactive. By learning jQuery, you're well on your way to the internet greatness. Anytime you have questions about what jQuery can do or how it works, you can always check the jQuery documentation, which covers every aspect of the library. Instructions. When you're ready to go, go ahead, click save and submit code to complete this lesson and move on to more jQuery goodness. Nice. We will save. Next. Ta-da! jQuery functions and selectors. Code achievement. Very cool. Let's close out of that. We will do this. Next. Up next, modifying HTML elements. 
you know how to change the styling of an HTML element using jQuery, but did you know you can change the element itself? Start lesson. All right. Technically, this is, that's going to be saved for tomorrow, but we will read just the hook. Creating an HTML element, dynamically adding HTML elements, ah, dynam, blah, 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 dynamically adding elements to our HTML page is a powerful tool. It lets us modify not only the formatting, but the actual structure of our websites in response to a user's actions. For example, when you get gchat, each message is actually a new div being dynamically added to the page. Cool, right? If you think about it, we've sort of done this already. All we're doing is setting a variable equal to a jQuery object. In this case, however, Instead of just having something like blah diddly blah, oh wait, we're starting to get into it. We'll want to pass an entire HTML element in quotes. P equals paragraph. I'm a new paragraph. We're getting here. We're gonna have to pump the brakes. Uh, when we put text into quotes like this, we call it a string as a string of characters. From now on, when we say string, you can think of text. These strings are always in singular double quotes. Okay, backing out, backing out, hard stop. <laughs> okay, so we survive section two. This will be for day 93. Let's see where day 92 concludes. That wise, here at Code Academy. I am now currently 40% of the way through with 1,069 points. And 145 badges. Good times. And you know what? I wanted to actually click on. We haven't clicked on this in a while. All said badges. Uh -huh. Look at that. Look at that. 145 of them. Doesn't mean anything to anyone, but that's okay. That's okay. First day. 2,500 exercises. 500 exercises. Back in February. Big Latin. 500 exercises. The supermarket. Battleship. I remember that. Alright. Scroll down memory lane. 50 points earned in one day. That's tons of fun. Objects one, objects two, building the cash register. Right, right. Way cool. There should be a thousand. Ah, there it is. A thousand exercises. Nice. And now jQuery functions. Beautiful. Actually, I guess functions and selectors was the one we just finished. Was it? Who knows? Doesn't matter. Point is. Day 92 is in the bag, and we are backing out of here. Thank you those who stopped by for today, Topher, Degov, and uh, anyone else. Greatly appreciate it. The party continues tomorrow, day 93. The fun never ends. Well, I mean, it will kind of end towards the end of the year, but you know what I mean. She knows what I'm talking about. Alright. Stop stream. Are you sure you want to stop the stream? Hell yeah. Kill it!